Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. Look here with me what I just got from the Top Don. What a great company. I'm using a few items from them. And they decided to give us a toy. We can review, we can look at and see what it is all about. So. I just got it like the last week. They shipped it right away. I just didn't have the time to deal with it. Let's go unbox this and see what is brand new modern battery charger and battery tester can do. This will be today like some kind of testing laboratory or something. Since this is charger and tester. I have already, ooh, look at this puppy, oh, this is very nice, I like it, wow, as usually, they have really good packaging, wow, very nice, so unboxing, right, I never opened it, didn't read about it yet. Mm -hmm. So you see the size, comparison with my hands, pretty small, two rubber legs if I can call, or spacers. So it's a TB6000 Pro from Top Down Smart, battery charger and tester. Very impressive, very impressive is the thickness of the cable. I really like that. This is really good and nice. It's really important always. Nice clamps. They are really opening a lot. When you work on the cars, you will see these terminals and so on. So this is good. As I said, the cable is strong. The spring is strong for those who doesn't know plus on red, minus on black. And this will be, again, here is a nice manual. This will be, again, for maintainer, most likely. Well, you can attach it to the automotive battery too, but most likely this will be like for the motorcycle, that when you need to maintain those batteries, because you don't drive them so often motorcycles, right? Uh, you will attach this to the battery under the contacts and that's a little outlet is hidden somewhere or it will be on the car you are right some people have a special vehicles which you guys don't use all the time multiple vehicles owners so this is cool i think this is a nice long cord so let me really quickly get educated on this I will set up our mad professor's laboratory and we will see how this works. Right off the bat I turn only a few pages and I'm blown away. They are saying that you can hook it through the Bluetooth to your phone. Wow! Obviously for iPhone and Android. Wow, the modes for the batteries are 12 volts 6 amp, 6 volts 3 amp, 12 volts 3 amp, 12 volts 6 amp lithium ion, 12 volt 1 amp repair, 12 volt 6 amp supply. Here is a graph, the chart, uh -huh. poor camera. Wow, well, these are different current charging. So let's start playing. I have here Prius, nice battery. Just to make it very scientific, let's check how it was holding the charge while sitting on the shelf. And believe it or not, this battery has 12 point 71 volts right here so it's basically almost 
fully charged. Here's just plus minus. Let's clip those puppies. What will be the best way? This way maybe? What do you say? Will be the best visible definitely. Oh, the moment I touch that, you can use this as a voltmeter. This is not in the wall yet. You can see the plug here dang dangling. But it already says, look, 12.6 or 5 volts. Very interesting. So, I will plug it in the wall, in the outlet. Here is the thing. And let's see what we can select. It said, right here, the standalone charging. When it's connected to the power supply, the charging modes will keep flashing. Press the mode switch button to toggle through between the modes. And the modes are really flashing here on the top. So I can go 12 volts supply, 12 volts small, but I will skip the small. 12 volt, volt lithium, no. 6 volt norm, no. 12 volt norm. So I will double really quickly, touch this and let's see what will happen. That means I selected the mode. And now how can I show you the screen? So it says that the battery apparently it's at 35% of the charge. Oh, and now it's showing that it's using 0 0.2 0 .2 amps, 0 0.6 amps. It rose to 13.2 because it's being charged. And look how really quickly it came to the 100% of the charge. It's 100%, the battery was as we discussed was basically how to avoid a glare for God's sake. I want to show it to you. So it's under person. I'm trying to look from the side and show it to you. And it stopped charging 0, 0.0 amps. That was quick, right? And it will end. It stopped at the 12.9 volts, which is correct, right? So it, it gave very quick regarding to its electronics. It did very quick charge, but a very short time it says it reached hundred percent it stopped charging here in the manual I read there was a question right a sample question will it stop charging automatically obviously it will so this is fantastic that was a really quick reaction on this very good battery let me bring some old junk battery as they said, because it's not hooked to the Bluetooth, there is a symbol flashing. So I will go ahead, before disconnecting it here, I will disconnect it from the wall. Disconnect it from here. And let's get, I have one sample for this mad professor's test. I have some old battery, which is sitting behind me on the shelf. Boom, here we go. I would like to you to see what's the voltage. Let's measure also this one. But I have no idea what the voltage on this is. No clue. Plus minus. 10.27. I hope this is switched. We have a plus and minus is here. I'm seeing it immediately here, 9.5, 9.4, this is what this unit is saying, and I will connect it. It already says right here it's flashing in the 12 norm, which is correct, that's a 12 battery in the normal, it's not a lithium ion or anything like that, so basically it's selected what it is, uh, what's the glare? And now I need to double tap it. Boom, boom. Now look at that. It's probably making, performing its own test. 
Aha. Error 4. That's exactly what I was expecting because this is a bad battery. I removed it years and years ago from somebody's vehicle and I'm not sure why it wasn't turned in. The tester immediately recognized the battery is bad and should be recycled. Reading this manual, I realized this chart, the curves, how it all goes, basically explains it's a eight steps and then the eight and nine and eight and eight and the nine will keep basically doing the maintenance but if you look how many different steps the charger does for example number two when it reaches that stage that automated system charge the battery with pulse current to break down the sulfates that have built up over time in the aging battery to extend life so this is very sophisticated machine and obviously it will does a really great job with the batteries which are in the good shape now what is becoming clear to me is you have to go ahead and download the app for my iPhone, uh, it will be on the Apple platform, right, in the App Store, uh, in order to use uh, some of the features and also mainly that battery test that is explained. It's from the Windows, which will open on your phone. I'm not interested in that. I'm the old school dude who operates the manually. And I also have a, a really great tester from the top down. This is problem with me. I have my iPhone here, but I'm using it for a business. I don't have a business line here and I use the iPhone only for a business. I don't have any games on it or any apps and so on because that thing keeps ringing each four minutes. I'm not going to be testing, opening some tester on that and trying to answer the phone and test the battery through my phone. I'm not interested in it. It's all you young people. You are excellent in it, but it's not for me. I will not have USB Bluetooth reader which goes into my phone. I got some to review in the past. I'm not interested in it. My phone is for phone reason and taking pictures, that's all. But I can tell you this, and I said it many times in these videos. You want to have a great battery charger? Well, go back to the same company, to the top down. This one I keep using all the time. It's absolutely incredible and fast, right? Let me show you how quickly I can test this battery with another Top down product. That's this one. RT Battery 101. Instead of playing with my phone, look at this. Boom. Boom. I can see it's at 12.72 volts. I click OK. English. Not in vehicle, out of vehicle. Before charge, no. It's after charge. Regular flooded. And now it wants to CC8. And normally, that's right there. But on this one, it's 325. This is unusual battery, right? 325. So this clicking is the, actually the longest thing uh, or most slowing. Now I click OK and it's already testing. And you will see that it will say the battery is fine. Do you see it? Good battery. State of health, it's 76%. But state of charge is... 98 and so on so you see all that info thank you top down i got it years ago it works absolutely perfectly i will definitely recommend this tool from the same company to all of you no kidding and even the way i use it the old way without tinkering with the bluetooth and so on which i don't like it's already 
incredible unit because it's showing you as it goes through that process it's showing you actual amperage which was applying in that uh, moment it's a very small unit the cables and clamps are absolutely incredible that's a high quality product right and it has again that trickle charger which you can connect to your weekend warrior vehicle or maybe motorcycle which you don't use so often so big deal i think top don is making absolutely incredible products and i will always welcome more of those to review them it costs me time or whatever that's okay it took only one week to find this afternoon hole in my busy schedule i will always recommend these things because that's another great unit very small the display is, is perfectly easy to read i'm not sure how the glare affected what you saw that's the lighting and the cameras but look at it right very small high quality cables this one the power cable is long so it can reach really far hopefully you don't need the extension so everything is good from them thank you top down and thank you guys watching this video if you like it give it a thumb up and be subscribe i always have a lot of stuff coming your way soon thank you for watching and have a great day my friend